This morning I'm at a local kind of nature preserve where there's opportunities to, to go on walks and be surrounded by nature. And uh, I just kind of sensed that as I woke up this morning that I needed to get out, get some alone time, and get some time in nature where it's quiet and where I can uh, really hear from God. I just I just hear his voice better. I quiet myself when I'm in, uh, in a place like this in, in nature. This week I lost my grandmother on my mom's side. And earlier this year I lost my mother. She died as well, uh, unexpectedly. And um, what I carried with me this morning and, and really since my grandmother died is just the sense of, of loss and, and this grief that I could kind of feel in my throat and, and down in my, in my gut and in, in my chest, like this pressure, this weight, this heaviness, this burden, uh, and just a, a desire to kind of, you know, be emotional, to, to grieve, to grieve well, and it left me with a heaviness. I don't really know how to deal with those emotions very well. Uh, there's just times where they just kind of seem to be locked inside, but I, I know that I know that First Peter 5, 7 says, give all your worries and cares to God. And so I've tried to cultivate a practice of being honest with Jesus, with Father, with Holy Spirit, and just share, this is what I'm feeling, you know, this is what I'm feeling. And so this morning was part that opportunity to just get outside, to be still, to be quiet, and just to share what I was feeling and, and just told him that I was sad. And just wanna be really practical here about how I heard the voice of Jesus or the, the Holy Spirit inside of me whisper some questions and, and how that played out for me. I show up at the park, I start walking, I've got this heaviness, I am just feel like my brain is just kind of in a cloud right now, right? And what helps me is just to say the name of Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. And there's a uh, verse in the Song of Solomon that says, let me see your face, let me hear your voice, for your face is pleasant, your voice is lovely, or your, vo your face is lovely and your voice is pleasant. And so I, I will sometimes uh, say that verse and just repeat it, because who I'm asking for, the asking spirit, would you come and, and let me hear your voice? Jesus, would you let me see your face? Would you speak with me? And yesterday I had a chance to um, to journal out, as Hebrews tells us, that Jesus is the man of sorrows, that he is acquainted with our grief. And so I, I just know that Father, Son, Holy Spirit have something to offer me, have something to offer us, and I wanted to receive that today. And so as, as I'm walking on a path and, and I'm just uh, trying to still my mind and, and still my my everything, I just was repeating the name of Jesus and then I just stopped doing that. I was just still and quiet and just focused on walking, trying to quiet my mind. And I heard kind of inside of me this, this sense, it wasn't an audible voice, but it was the sense inside of me asking me a single question. Why are you so sad? Why are you sad? And this was a question that wasn't a, um, it wasn't judgmental, like, why are you sad, man? This is stupid. It was, it was more of a kind question. It was one that opened up permission for me. And I was able to share why I'm sad. And then later I heard that same kind of still small voice ask in a really kind way, what, what is it that you, what is it that you really want? And I was able to share, um, you know, and, and he asked like, what, what is, what do you think some of the root of this? Like what's, what's some of the root of this deep sadness and, and uh, the broader context, is there anything else? Well, is what I heard. And I was able to really give thought to that and actually speak those things out loud. And it opened up an entirely new kind of dialogue and a self-understanding because sometimes you know, we get those thoughts and get those um, those feelings and don't know what to do with them. We just lock them up inside and that's not good. So this moment this morning on a walk, just re saying Jesus' name, really trying to quiet myself so I can hear from him, he asked me some really kind questions. This reminds me of what scripture says, that Holy Spirit is the, uh, he's our counselor, right? He's our comforter and our counselor. And in this past year, I've, I've been actually seeing a professional counselor. And what I'm noticing now, having had dialogue with a professional counselor, is the voice of the Spirit inside of me is actually that the whole idea of being a counselor is true, and it's good, and it's kind. I just need to create that space to listen, to hear, to give my attention to hear, and then to just kind of go into it, to take that question and go and answer it. I received it today as, as comfort and as a counselor. So thank you, God, for being my counsel and comforter. Let me pray for you. Um, Jesus, Father, Holy Spirit, thank you that you are our counselor and our comfort, that you 
are indeed inside of those who, who call upon the name of Jesus, who have placed their faith in Jesus, that you come to reside in us. I'm thankful for that. And for anyone watching that uh, hasn't received that voice or is not able to hear or doesn't even really know how to hear, I just ask that you would reveal yourself, that you give them space, uh, a reason to quiet down all of the distractions and noise and an opportunity to be in a place that draws them near to you and that you would cut through the noise, cut through the distraction, cut through the inner dialogue that sometimes clouds up our ability to hear and speak in that still and small voice. Be a counsel and a comfort that I know that you are. Jesus, I thank you that you came to heal the brokenhearted, that you care deeply for us and you care deeply for me. And so I just ask that your mission that continues on, that you would uh, continue to be missional against those who are watching today who just, just want to hear from you. They want to hear your voice. So speak your voice. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did for me today, counseling me and helping me bring, uh, bring me out of uh, uh, sort of this weight and into uh, a much lighter place where I could hear your voice and uh, answer your questions and receive your love and comfort to me. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you. Amen. Thanks for watching.